Boogie woogie dancers are better at entertaining audiences than Lindy Hoppers. <laughs> Jamin here, make sure you subscribe. I'm excited, guys. I saw this thumbnail today uh, with uh, Sondre and Tanya, or Tanya and Sondre. They typically are boogie woogie dancers, and excellent craftsmen, excellent performers, excellent choreographers. And it looks like they're doing a Lindy choreo. So I want to take a look at this one, give you guys my thoughts on that, and see where the conversation goes. Really, it's not really a conversation. It's just me talking to myself in my own room with the cat on the floor. But before we do that, guys, make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss anything. If you want to check out some of my free courses, I uploaded some new free courses below. Hit that link in the description. And thank you to the Patreon supporters who make this thing happen. Now, guys, a lot of people ask me, what's the difference between Boogie Woogie and Lindy Hop? Listen, there's not a lot of difference when we talk about Boogie Woogie and Lindy Hop. A lot of it has to do with the elasticity in their body. A lot of the Lindy Hoppers move a little slower. Usually there's a little bit more delay in their movement. A Boogie Woogie dancer tends to dance a little bit faster because there's less elasticity in their movement, which allows them to actually stop and move quickly and have surprising movements within their performances. Now, I've got to say something here that's a bit controversial. I think everything I say is almost controversial. <laughs> I have yet to see a Lindy Hopper outperform a Boogie Woogie Dancer. I've seen many Boogie Woogie Dancers transition into Lindy Hop and blow Lindy Hoppers away when it comes to the showcase category. And yet, at the same time, there's something missing with the Boogie Woogie performances. It's a little hollow when it comes to the soul of their movements. And that usually has to do with the swing note not really being amplified as much as it could be. So I have seen many Boogie Woogie dancers come into Lindy Hop. Although they could outperform the Lindy Hoppers, a lot of times it wasn't as fun watching them do like social dancing. A lot of times they just were always overproduced and moving so fast and you can't really just sink in and and, and ride the dance with them so you can see the feeling of the dance. And so there's only been one couple that could beat uh, Boogie Woogie Dancers in the showcase category. And you guys know what I'm talking about. The only couple I've seen in history that could beat them was Max and Ani. They're the only ones that could outperform Boogie Woogie Dancers who have come into Lindy Hop. Isn't that crazy to think about? That's just how amazing the average Boogie Woogie Dancer is at performing. So let's jump right into this video and I'm gonna give you my thoughts right afterward. All right, here we go. BB Dance Camp 2022. I'm excited to see this, so. I don't know how they keep a straight face. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey! Hey! That was fun. See? Oh, let me talk about this. <laughs> See? See what I'm talking about? That is exactly what I wanted. It's exactly what I expected. And I will also say that I think this was too easy for this couple. I'm sure they probably threw this routine together pretty quickly. Guys, I wish Lindy Hoppers had the boogie woogie mentality. These boogie woogie dancers work super hard. They have to constantly come up with something new and push themselves because they're obviously in a more competitive environment and they have to always bring something fresh to the table to show why they need to be paid attention to. I love that type of fire and punch and I wish more Lindy Hoppers had the boogie woogie mentality. It's really funny that I'm actually having to say that. That's so weird. You know, I, I think there was always a stigma like, you know, boogie woogie dancers would kind of, were like the boy bands, you know, and then they would grow up a little bit and they would leave the boy band and then go join, you know, some hip hop and R&B kids. And all of a sudden they're cool now because they're growing up. The boogie woogie days are past them and now they're Lindy Hoppers. I've always felt like that was the stigma and I don't like that stigma because in reality it's exactly the opposite when it comes to intensity and ingenuity. For whatever reason in the Lindy Hop culture there's not a lot of pressurized competitive edge that I see a lot more prevalent in the boogie woogie world. Big shout out to them. They crushed this routine. Some of my favorite moments were the moments where they were doing Lindy Hop. Not, not the tricks. A lot of the tricks are kind of what I expect from a boogie woogie dancer. But I like being able to see how a boogie woogie dancer polishes off their shapes and smooths things out a little bit so when they're doing Lindy Hop, it looks a little tonally different. And it was, I gotta admit, it was kind of hard to see those moments because this tempo was, was more like a Charleston tempo. It was like New Orleans style. So a lot of their movements were still pretty rigid and you know you had a lot of quick changes because the elasticity in their movement is really tight like i said it yields a lot of wonderful surprises in the movement but those weren't my favorite parts my favorite parts were when they were actually doing lindy hop moves like a swing out and then they would transition into that boogie woogie mentality and speed things up and then stop so that the audience could appreciate it and then they would go back to something else I love that. I think Lindy Hoppers can learn a lot from Boogie Woogie dancers. And in fact, I would love to see a competition where it was just Boogie Woogie dancers versus Lindy Hoppers and they had to do like showcases or Strictly's. <laughs> I would love to see that. I would love to see that. Somebody out there, please make that happen. You know, if I had to put together a super team, I always say I would pick Boogie Woogie dancers by far. I want that mentality if I'm thinking about creating something that's going to move the world and inspire generations to come. The boogie woogie mindset mixed with like the Korean and Lindy Hoppers like discipline. You fuse those two together and you have a new Hells of Poppin' movement. You have something that's new and fresh that hasn't been seen before. So I yearn for that day, guys. Oh, man, I really do. Let me know what you guys thought about this performance. I really like this couple. I like them for so many reasons that pertain specifically just to dancing has nothing to do with personalities or anything they're doing off the dance floor i like their work ethic and i wish more people would work just as hard as them i gotta tell you there was how many boogie woogie dancers that i've seen go into lindy hop and transition well there's not that many a lot of them got into lindy hop you know for the career and the traveling but yeah, their dancing didn't really transition. You still see a lot of the showmanship from Boogie Woogie, but you didn't see the finesse from the Lindy Hop side. And so some of my favorite Lindy Hoppers were those Boogie Woogie dancers that transitioned smoothly, like uh, Nikolai and Michaela. Look them up. They were Boogie Woogie dancers, and they smoothly transitioned into Lindy Hop. Pontus and Isabella, another great couple, were able to do both genres and smooth it over in a way where it was just like wow this is so captivating and it added so much more to the lindy hop world <sighs> guys this was great let them know what you think about this performance in the comment section below if you guys haven't uh, signed up for my free courses do that below if you want to join my street smart swing community you can do that the door is open i'm so excited about hosting live q a's and giving you guys access to everything i've pretty much done and all the stuff that I'm working on right now. So if you're interested in that, make sure you sign up below. If I don't see those comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my community online. Take care.